Namaste. The best of booktube this week. I don't watch all of booktube. That'll be crazy. There's 40,000 channels. But these were four videos that stood out to me this week. None of the creators really need a shout out from me because all of these videos had more than 1,000 views. And this video you can see below how many views it got. My name is Jim. This is my channel. Books, reading and stuff. I will link to all the videos below in the show notes and there's also a playlist I've compiled of the four videos I mentioned. They all ask some interesting questions. The first is from Angela of Literature Science and Alliance who says how many did I guess right? Goodreads Choice Awards Reaction 2023 at the moment, the Goodreads Choice Awards have been announced and you can vote for the books that you wish to be nominated for the Goodreads Choice Awards. I looked at the Goodreads Choice Awards and I've only read two of the books over all the categories. There's a new category this year, Romanticy. I love the covers there look the same. Uh, Angela was filming her video before she went to work and her kittens were playing up. It's a fun time. Uh, it was a fun video. She's quite well informed, although there's some gaps to her knowledge. She seemed to draw a blank at Salman Rushdie's Victory City. I thought most people have known Salman Rushdie, but maybe it's just my generation. Cindy from With Cindy probably needs no <laughs> introduction from me. She's one of the most popular booktubers. She has over 500,000 subscribers. She put out a video, does the romance genre have a white supremacy problem? And she looked at a number of books in the romance genre where the hero was of dubious origin. There's two books particularly stood out. There's one, Darkness Embraced by Tilly Cole, where the hero was the son of the leader of the Texas KKK and uh, he fell in love with the daughter of a Mexican cartel. Cindy says that uh, racism is not dark romance. We're talking about some girly getting choked out by a hot dude, not being actively oppressed by a dude in a white hood. Uh, Tilly Cole surprisingly, doesn't come from America even. She's from Teesside. Teesside, the area of Britain with the highest crime rates. And it's not just the dark romance category of romance. There is also a book from the Christian romance side, At Love's Command by Karen Whitemeyer, which won a Vivian Award, which is one of the prestigious awards for romance. The hero was a Confederate soldier who was in the Indian Wars and he took part in the Battle of Wounded Knee, the massacre of Wounded Knee. Excuses for him was that his some of his family were killed by Comanches. This is different to Wounded Knee where it was the Lakota who were massacred. Cindy is much better at expressing her cynicism for the whole genre and the use of characters that might be applauded by white supremacists. The third video was Shelley Swearingen's Six Wonderful Booktubers and three of the booktubers she shouted out I was already very familiar with. Uh, booktubers like Kristen at Enter the Book and MJ who are amazing and the other three I'm now subscribed to as well. She was just extolling the virtues of these booktube channels and it's worth a watch to see what she has to say about them. And the final video that stood out for me was an, asked another question. Has booktube made me fall out of love with reading? This is what Criminoli asked. And he looked at how booktube had affected the way he reads, what he reads, how much he reads. And you can watch his video to find out if it made him fall out of his love for reading or not. So those were my picks, just four this week. Uh, as I said, I'll link to all the channels and the videos in the description below. 
If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a like. That will help me with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.